Hey Pisces, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. This is going to be your January 2023 energy reading. Okay, for all Pisces placements, um, cross watchers are welcome here as well. We're going to be tapping into just general oracle messages for the month of January Pisces, as well as a spread for your finances, overall stability. Um, and a spread for your love life and relationships, okay? So let's go ahead and hop into it. Let's start off with the Moonology Oracle deck. Clarity Confirmation, Holy Spirit, for my Pisces for January. What is it that you would like for them to know? Clarity Confirmation, Holy Spirit, for my Pisces. Okay, so it says the end to a tough cycle is approaching. It approaches. So believe in the impossible, okay? Um, and work through your fears. So something um, may not be um, like... I almost want to say something might not seem as, um, be as bad as it seems, Pisces, okay? Or maybe there is just some sort of rough patch or a tough cycle that you're working on getting through, something that you've been experiencing. Um, like, it's something about, like, your optimism here. Let's see, work through your fears. The energy is gaining momentum. Y'all could be very anxious or maybe like emotional. Emotional. I feel like you could be very emotional in the month of January or you're like you're coming out of that energy from the recent past, um, Pisces. Um, and I feel like I don't know why fear is showing up here, though. But there's a need for you to have hope. There's a need for you to stay strong. There's a need for you to push forward. Okay, I don't know if you're worried about something, um, the way it's going to play out, if you're just worried about yourself, your mental state, your emotional state, but whatever this is, it's, it's a need for you to believe um, that things will get better here, okay? The energy is gaining momentum. Let's just pull one more. Yeah, and luck is on your side. You are good enough. And communication is key. Some of you guys could just be, you know, struggling with like self-worth or your ability to maintain or sustain something. Um, Pisces, like your ability to like have, to gain, to keep, okay, to build, to be successful. Um, but there is something about maybe like your trauma that could be significant. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what comes out from the Wisdom Oracle. Or working through some sort of trauma, some sort of healing um, that's significant. I feel like something gets better, Pisces, when you finally address something or heal something or talk about something or focus on something, work through something. It's like the energy of, you know, life or something gets better for you. All right, so let's see. Clarity confirmation. I'm seeing by the book at the bottom. Um, so maybe you need to address something head on. You need to do something the right way. Maybe you guys are starting over, okay? And that could be worrying you or that's like scary. You're starting over in a particular area of your life. Um, or you may need to go back to the drawing board. You might need to go back and address some things or figure some things out or reflect on something in order to move forward, especially if you feel like, you know, stunted in your growth or a particular area of your life here. Let's see. Clarity confirmation for my Pisces for the month of January. I almost said October, so October could have been very significant, okay, or could be. Um, Libra, Scorpio energy could be significant. We have deep knowing Pisces, okay, we have regeneration. Yeah, something about starting over and time for a nap. Um, you may know that that it's time for something to change, or you may know something needs to be worked on, something needs to be nurtured, something needs to be healed, okay? Something needs to be talked about. Um, or you could also know that like you need like you need time for something, like you need a rest, you need a break, you need to figure something out, you need healing, you need time for something in order for, yeah, in order for something else in your life to grow, to prosper, in order for it to regenerate, to have this new beginning or this, this stability here. You might be knowing that like it's time to let something go in order for you to grow and heal, etc. as well. Or you need to let something go. Um, you need to like... Um, Maybe stop overthinking something for some of you guys. What's at the bottom? Bless this here. Okay. You also like know or you're realizing that something had to happen for a reason or you're becoming a, like you're awakening to like why 
yeah like why something is happening has happened or why something keeps happening let's see no place like home by the book and not for you yeah like something is not for you pisces some sort of like um this could be tied to like your upbringing this could definitely be tied to like home family your upbringing morals values Maybe there's something that you've been working on or trying to like make work. It's something here that I feel like you've been forcing, okay? Or in the month of January, like you run the risk of like forcing something to work, forcing something to happen, forcing something to kind of like, you know, progress, move forward or be a certain type of way. Um, but I don't feel like that's for you with this not for you card. I don't feel like that's something that you should continue to do or you should be doing. It doesn't feel that way. Blessed is at the bottom. Go the distance. Um, all that glitters. Co-create. Breathe. Yeah, it's kind of like you just need time out to breathe here. To allow something to happen or to like allow um, whatever needs to take place. Time, energy. So there could be this regeneration. Somebody could also be trying to like come back to you, Pisces, or you could be like, it's like you could be trying to, um, it's something about you needing to sit in some sort of energy here, Pisces. You need to realize how blessed you are. Or something about working on yourself or building yourself back up. Like not masking some sort of energy here. I kind of just feel like you might need time to you need to give yourself time. Maybe you need to be gentle with yourself. You need to give yourself time to heal, to grow, to soak something up. Okay, so let's see. Let's jump into your money, finances, overall stability for January. What that's looking like for you. Clarity, confirmation, Holy Spirit for my Pisces. What is it that they need to know? Or some sort of like major movement is not for you. Like don't, um, don't jump into something or don't feel forced to like jump into something to secure it, Pisces. Um... Or don't go against what you just, you you know, like some of y'all is, is like, I don't know if you're doing this or you've done this. It's like you're going along with something or you're forcing something or you're doing something because like it feels right or the person wants you to do it or um, it's kind of like it's there's a need for you to stop doing that, Pisces, whatever that means for you. So let's see. Yeah, temperance card, clarity, confirmation. Or stop getting into situations um, that are not for you or stop a certain type of like pattern or behavior. Let's see. Finances, money, overall stability for my Pisces for the month of um, January. Let's see. Almost says September that time. So September could be significant as well. September, October, the fall season. Clarity confirmation for my Pisces. Late summer could be significant. All right, Pisces, let's see. So the magician is here, the four of swords. So time for a nap. Four of swords is like a resting energy, taking a rest, taking a break, or just like stopping something here. Magician, four of swords. You would be the magician needing to do this. Okay, and then this is you, the hangman, Pisces. Something about stop um, keeping yourself stuck. Or something that you're in your head about, it's like you need to not allow that to affect you, Pisces. Let's see what's at the bottom. Um, in terms of your overall stability, your money, your finances, we have strength card too. So okay, money could be um money could be looking up. Maybe you're trying to save money or you should work on saving, okay, in the month of January. Leo energy could be significant. Yeah, five of pentacles. It's, some of y'all are coming back from like um, a cut on hours or like a lost job or something like that. Like there's a comeback in terms of 
uh, those L's that you took, Pisces, okay? Let's see what the strength card is. I feel like there's something that you, you're you needing to fight off also, or you're trying to fight off. Some of y'all are trying to fight off like depression, okay? Or you're trying to... um. Yeah, let's see. What's the strength card? Or you're trying to just like build your money up. Like I see y'all trying to like build stack here. Um, but I feel like there's a need to stop spending so much for sure. What's the strength card? Like some sort of discipline. Clarity confirmation from my Pisces. Some sort of discipline that's needed. The five of cups, the ten of wands, and the eight of cups. Yeah, I mean, I feel like in terms of, um, again, like your stability or your finances, I definitely feel like I keep getting fighting depression. Like I'm picking up on like mental health. Um, but I feel like some things like you're going to be able to do something. Something's going to like stand the test of time. You're going to be able to pay something off. You're going to be able to do something. You're going to have just enough. Okay. You're going to be able to make ends meet until something pulls through for you. Like some of y'all could be waiting on like your taxes or something like that. Um, I feel like like something's coming here that's going to help you in terms of finances or you're going to be able to make ends meet until something happens pisces if that's what you're worried about what's the magician clarity confirmation what's the magician from my pisces all right justice six of cups um and the nine of swords I feel like something you tried to make work in the past just didn't work out for you. Or some of y'all, some of y'all are just worried about like family, home, children, being able to provide. But I also kind of feel like Pisces, um, what's at the bottom? Queen of Cups, the Devil, the Death card, the Ten of Pentacles. Try not obsessing over something here. Some of y'all are trying to like not, um, it's like you need to resist some sort of energy, whether this is like you being your own worst enemy, your thoughts and emotions, or somebody outside of yourself. But there's something that's happening for you. Justice is coming in though. Something that you've been waiting on for a long time in terms of stability or money could be coming through. What's the justice card? A Libra could be significant. What's the justice card? The seven of pentacles or something's paying off or paying back. The nine of pentacles um, and the hermit. Yeah, I feel like y'all are looking for like money or um, something that's owed to you. What's the Four of Swords? I feel like that's coming through. What's the Four of Swords? Virgo energy. Any earth sign could be significant. What's the Four of Swords? The Wheel of Fortune. The Sun card. Um, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, like whatever the stagnant energy is, whatever's been on your mind, there's some sort of breakthrough that's coming. The Ace of Wands, Seven of Swords, the Moon card, and the Three of Cups, the King of Wands. Also, I just, I get two Pisces, like there's something that you need to like not result back to. What's the Wheel of Fortune? It could be like behaviors. I was just about to say addictions. Yeah, the devil. Like addictions, obsessions. Um, It's kind of giving relapse energy for some people. Like something might be real tempting or is looking real tempting to kind of like go back to Pisces in terms of, I don't know if this is something you're spending your money on or something that you do that affects your money. Like it's something like that or affects your overall stability. The devil, the knight of cups, um, and a star card here. I get too, like there is somebody that's trying again with you or like uh, wants to heal something with you or... Um, take some sort of action, but I don't feel like it's good for your money. I don't feel like it's good for your stability, Pisces. What's the hangman? Or 
or some of y'all are like really fighting it's something about y'all fighting like to not go back to like old patterns or behaviors or obsessions or addictions or something like that pisces um hey man the ace of pentacles the page of pentacles or somebody who's like in that energy ace of pentacles page of pentacles um and the ten of cups This is all good energy, Pisces. But yeah, that's why. The Seven of Cups. I'm like, okay, this is all good energy. But for some reason, I just don't feel like sure about it or confident about it. And that's what the Seven of Cups could be too. Like a lack of clarity. The Ace, the Eight of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. Like I feel like something's conflicting you or somebody's conflicting you or influencing you. Um, It feels like it's a person. If it's not you dealing with your own internal stuff, like it feels like it's a person. Um, that's causing a lot of confusion here. Or this is you, Pisces, in terms of somebody else's life. All right, so let's see. Let's see what comes out for your love, your personal relationships, because I feel like, um, you know, for some reason, a specific person or relationship or something like that is, is already showing up in like your, your finance reading, your overall stability. So let's see. Clarity confirmation from my Pisces, Holy Spirit, in terms of love. Okay. In terms of love and just personal relationships and friendships. Actually, let's use the lover's love oracle first and then the tarot. Clarity confirmation. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, Pisces. I just feel like you're really in your head here. It's almost like, um, there's like a loss of direction. Okay. In terms of stability, finances, um, or you're trying your hardest to focus on the good, but like. I don't know. Like something's pulling on your energy. Let's see. So in terms of love, a friendship, okay, personal relationships for my Pisces Holy Spirit for the month of January. What is it that they need to know? Who or what is showing up? Clarity confirmation for my Pisces. So we have twin flames showing up here. We have wedding rings, okay. Engagement ring. And not enough. We also have kisses, okay? So twin flame, yin yang, balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. Wedding rings, union, wedding, married, uh, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise, okay? Engagement ring, um, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Like, I mean, th these energies seem good for the most part, Pisces. And then we have not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage. Like, um, Mm. kisses unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love i don't know pisces it kind of just feels like um something here is good okay or it was good or it's something here but i feel like you're feeling like you're not enough i feel like there's maybe a person around or there's something there's something or somebody in your environment it's almost like pisces like it's something about like you could have the world okay or you can have everything you want but there's something from within like it feels like it's a void from within like you might feel like you're not enough some of y'all might also just be um I don't know. Somebody is just feeling like they're not worthy of like affection, companionship, partnership. One second, Pisces. Sorry about that, Pisces. A Sagittarius could be significant. Um, but also, now since we're talking about just like relationships in general and not just love, it could be like you feel stretched too thin. Like you feel stretched thin, Pisces. Like maybe... You have a lot of commitments going on here, okay, in terms of like family, friendships, work, romance, um, and maybe feel like for some reason you're feeling like you're not enough or you're not doing enough, okay? Okay. 
but I feel like there's people around you that love you unconditionally, okay? Or maybe there's a, a specific relationship that's still having a hold on you. Maybe there's like an old relationship, friendship, family dynamic, something that somebody said or did to you in the past. Something, um, it's like you need to break yourself free from somebody else's energy, expectations of you, what they said about you or something like that. Or you need to like give yourself a break, Pisces. Okay, so let's see what comes up with the tarot. Clarity confirmation, Holy Spirit, for my Pisces for the month of January. Clarity confirmation in terms of love, relationships. What's coming up for my Pisces spirit? Or some of y'all like need a rest from like a relationship or relationships. Like it's something like that, Pisces. All right, so you got three cards that popped out here. The Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. The Four of Wands. Let's see how this goes. The Hermit, the Six of Pentacles, the Lovers. I mean, there's definitely some sort of union, relationship, friendship showing up here. What's the Four of Wands? Clarity Confirmation. Clarity confirmation for my Pisces. What's this four of wands? The knight of pentacles. Okay. The five of pentacles. Earth signs could be uh, significant towards Virgo Capricorn. And the four of cups. I feel like you should... Um, either somebody's holding back from you. Yeah, because Four Cups is your energy. I feel like somebody could be holding back from you, Pisces, or you might not feel good enough for like a person or this person. Um, or like there's something that's not moving according to like how you want it or something didn't go according to how you would have wanted it here. The Four of Cups, you could still be hung up on that or you could just be, you know, feeling this way in the month of January. The Fool card, the Death the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Swords, or it's like expecting something to, um, I don't know. It's something about like expecting something to fix something else or expecting someone to fix something that somebody else did to you or like, um, something about your expectations, Pisces. Or something that you jumped into or you might be risking jumping into something that's not gonna like, because the Four of Cups is somebody that just, you know, like this, something needs to be worked on from within Pisces. It's something about like, I feel like you're allowing or you allowed somebody's energy towards you or you allow people's like, you take things personally or like somebody holding back from you is making you feel a certain type of way, really down emotionally Pisces. Or you're taking somebody's actions as if like you're not enough. Or lack of action towards you as if like you're not like it's it's giving um uh what's the word I'm looking for, Pisces? Like reassurance or like somebody doesn't have like the confidence in themselves or they seek external, you know, or some or you're seeking an external energy to kind of like make up for something. What's the two of pentacles? What's the two of pentacles for my Pisces? The three of cups. The Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. There could be a friendship or some sort of relationship that you're parting ways with, Pisces. Okay, the Three of Wands, or you need to, Will of Fortune. But it's like you need time to like, because the Three of Wands is waiting. The Will of Fortune is the change, Six of Pentacles, the Lovers. It's like you need time before you you accept this ace of pentacles or something here needs to be uh something might need to be worked on or dealt with or some sort of conflict needs to be resolved what's the five of wands inner or external conflict that's you pisces high priestess king of wands four of pentacles like yeah you might need to take some sort of action or um you need to create some sort of stability here because two of pentacles is just not a stable energy three of pentacles seven of pentacles three of cups three of pentacles like somebody um 
maybe in the past you got yourself in like a situation, Pisces, or you, you continue to get yourself in situations with certain type of people. It's like you need to take control over your relationships or like how you allow something to happen. What's the Ace of Pentacles for my Pisces? Clarity confirmation. What's the Ace of Pentacles? The Queen of Swords. The Eight of Cups. It's like being smart about something, Pisces. And the Two of Cups. The Lover's Card. The Ace of Wands. Cutting something out. I feel like Two of Swords, Nine of Swords. Like something here is unresolved, Pisces. This could be one issue in a particular situation, multiple issues, multiple situations, relationships. Somebody here is also like determined to like ruin somebody else's relationship. Or is something about sabotaging yourself here, Pisces? A Gemini could be significant. What's the Queen of Swords? You have the Lover's card at the bottom, and in the back of the Queen of Swords is the Lover's card image. What's the Queen of Swords for my Pisces? The Nine of Swords. Yeah, the Two of Swords. Or it's like Ace of Wands. I do feel like you need to do something for yourself, Pisces. You may be questioning like a decision that you made or a decision that you're making. What's the Knight of Cups? It's something about like needing to, to like to make your own decisions. Okay, to think for yourself, to not rely on somebody else's energy. Okay, or people's energy showing up here. What's the Knight of Cups? The Three of Swords. Or it's also something about like the Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Like you could be separating from somebody's Pisces or you, like you did or you are. Knight of Cups, Three of Swords, Chariot. Yeah. And the Eight of Pentacles. And it's like trying to, it's like trying to work on something else, Pisces, or trying to give to something else without giving to yourself or what, without giving to like a previous situation or without like wrapping something up, like something here to go from the three of swords, the heartbreak to like the chariot fast moving and eight of pentacles is like uh, Pisces. I feel like y'all could be like toxic or it's like the energy, some sort of energy that you're harvesting or some sort of pattern that you're repeating. Or something about like the way you you mourn or you heal from certain situations may not be the healthiest Pisces. We got Ace of Cups is here. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. It's kind of like if doing something too fast could ruin it Ace, or giving too much of yourself or like Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, um, the Justice card, Knight of Swords, King of Cups, King of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. There could be a water and an earth sign significant. Something may just need to like end before something else can start. Something needs to be resolved. Something needs to be healed or something like that. Because I feel like you're running the risk of like maybe a third party situation, a three of swords or three of pentacles or like, like, like a situationship or an entanglement or something about that. Um, if it happened in the past, it's still bothering you, Pisces. Like something just needs to be like wrapped up. All right. So I'm gonna leave it here. Hopefully this brought you some clarity. Leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk.